Hello and welcome. This is Totally Not Experts. I'm Blake Matson. Today I'm finding the joy of painting, and I am no expert. So a little bit about Totally Not Experts before we get started. This is the show where I try doing things that I've always wanted to do and have not for some reason. So we're going to change that, and starting today, I am doing a Bob Ross painting, uh, following along with the joys of painting. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, and I haven't. Sometimes I'm going to be joined by a friend to help me host the show, but today I'm not, so let's just jump right on into it. But actually, first, I've got to go to Walmart. Grab this one. This one's cheap. So I'm back from the store. A couple canvases. Oh, this one's got a fucking hole in it. But whatever. No, only, only need one. Only thing I couldn't get was an easel. That would blow my budget if I went for it. So, but I'm just gonna freehand this thing. Uh, or oh, fuck. okay, I've got an easel. I'm ready. Now I picked out. Bob Ross's Art and Beauty. I gotta do some preparing here. Okay, so I'm already seeing a problem here. <clears throat> I do have the first color he mentions. He says, titanium white. Look at that. The rest though, fuck, I got a blue that I guess will work. A uh, green that'll work. He says, burnt umber. I, I got burnt umber. And I'm already behind. He's doing something and I'm, I'm, I'm only sorting colors. So like I have circles. Yellow. Oh my god, I'm almost out of colors. Permanent red. Brilliant red it is. Okay. So that's all his colors. I've got them here. I, I, there's only two I didn't use, and he probably even already mentioned ivory black and... Oh, he said phthalo blue. I have phthalo blue. But now, I've got to... I gotta go back and see what the hell he was talking about there, and I gotta lay out all these colors. If you weren't ready for this, and this was airing on TV, this would be insanely difficult. Okay, uh, so I gotta cover this whole canvas in phthalo blue and crimson. This is gonna take, this is gonna take forever. Now I've got that all all set and ready to go. I can actually start painting this shit. So and all these fantastic things. They just sort of happen. You don't have to worry about it. Why is mine blue? Okay, so he's He's using the same, the crimson and the phthalo blue, phthalo blue. Mine says, follow, P, P H T H. I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay, so I gotta keep pausing this. I don't know if that's, if that's a good sign or not. No! I went to a different video somehow. Okay, there we go. We're cheating now already. We went back. That's a cloud. All right. Now we're gonna make more purple again. So we went back. Ah. I might be burning through too much paint just to even get started. Jesus Christ.
If you're gonna do this, buy a palette knife. Felt like I lost my highlights, so I gotta go back. I gotta go back. This is this is constantly going back and fixing this. I don't I don't think I could actually do, do this live. We're adding a little more highlight. So I lost kind of part of that mountain. <laughs> Sorry, Bob Ross. He's not wrong. You could spend forever doing this. Okay. Bob's trees look good. Mine don't. I go well. How did he get so far ahead? Okay. So I'm, I'm way behind here. Oh man. Okay, so my canvas is too dark. The trees don't really stand out. Eh, whatever, okay. So, I am learning that I need to put a little more brightness into my work. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I've got that brown. Happy little accent, as he says, right? Off. Oh. Whoa! Moves so much faster than I expected. Just getting paint on everything. Ah oh, man, he's looking at all this. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't leave myself enough space to do all the rest of the stuff he's doing. He's doing waterfalls and shit. The, the fact that I even made something here. I'm a little impressed. Yeah, I'm, I'm all done. I finished. Um, I've learned a few things doing this process. I just went in blind and it worked out pretty well for me, but I did run out of space, right? I'm missing all of the river and waterfall that he did. But uh, I'm pretty happy still with the result, and I don't think if you're following along with Joy Painting that that's really the point to uh, recreate exactly what Bob Ross was doing somewhere along the lines. Uh, speaking of which, Bob Ross is an amazing teacher. Uh, there's a reason why Joy Painting is uh, or was so popular, and I guess is still so popular. Yeah, he, he uh, I've never painted or worked with oils before, and I did pretty damn good. Um, and. His demeanor throughout the whole show, you know, it actually works because when I kept messing up and he would, oh, it's just a happy relax, we're not going to stress it. Uh, it actually kept me uh, grounded and a little bit stress free. Yeah, this really just goes to show that anyone can do this. Uh, all, all you need is, like I said, about $20. That's Canadian also. So maybe even less for you Americans out there. Um, canvas, easel. Cheap palette, cheap brushes, cheap palette knife, and some paints. Boom. Not to bring out the old cliche, but make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that notification bell if you like this video, because I got bigger and better things coming down the line. Um, if you care so much to uh, follow me on socials, you can right here. Don't, don't, don't. I don't post too often, but if you guys follow, I promise to increase uh, my posting. So see you next time, and remember, to be your own expert.